Folks, we're back. We're doing the gingerbread tree. That's Angela's best decorating coming up right here on my take on Home and Garden. That's right, guys. I put it all on her. We're going to look at all her goodies and she's going to decorate for you because that's what she's good at. All right, then. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am uh, want to show you all the ornaments that I pulled out for this tree today. And there's some of them are from our elf tree upstairs from last year that I decided that I might want to use in this video. So these are all the <laughs> different peppermint picks that I thought would be cute in here. Now, this one I've used before. I'm not sure if I want to use it this year or not, but I have it pulled out and I had found this great ribbon today so i wanted to do something a little different than what i did before and i love the plaid because jeff did the plaid lanterns over here that i think it would look amazing with and then we have this really nice beaded garland that i always use on the kitchen tree because it just reminds me of cranberries and all of these adorable little candy cane ornaments it's gonna look great um Last year, my daughter got me this cute little mouse ornament, and I would think he's going to look good on here. But some of these ornaments were found on the elf tree last year, so we're going to going to put them with this one. And then, then I have all of these gingerbread houses that Jeff has got me for Christmas, and then I picked up a few at Hobby Lobby here and there. But there's so many now after, you know, six years, but I don't get, you don't find a lot of these that you don't have already, I've noticed. So now that I see that it's becoming more popular, I think more, you know, there might be more to choose from, but yeah, there's quite a few. And then my favorite, favorite are the cute little handmade ornaments that the kids made me when they were little. And I just get choked up every time <laughs> I look at them on the tree. Check out this little gingerbread made out of cinnamon. Isn't that great? <laughs> and then this little candy cane that my youngest made me. I just love these things and I know it's not designer or this or that, but I love how they look on the tree. And the, every time I look at them, I think of... Hold it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. And they, made, they did this in art class from this one. This little... <laughs> picture the little beads have fallen off right but it's still adorable and anyway that's where we're at and so I'm gonna get the ribbon and the cranberries on the tree and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're done All right, guys, so this is where I'm at now. I got the three ribbons that I decided to use all of them because I liked the way they looked layered. And then we added our cranberry garland and I started putting on the peppermint ornaments because those are the least that I have to spread them out because I'm not great at informal balance. <laughs> so <laughs> I try to formally balance them so it, it looks good, you know. And so that's where I'm at right now. And then we're gonna put some more on and show you another look. Okay guys, so now we have all the gingerbread ornaments on and the peppermint ornaments on and any of the specialty ornaments that I was gonna put on it spread out on the tree. So I just wanted you to see how it looks like that. It already looks pretty full already, but now we're gonna put in all of our red ornaments and then we're gonna take you and show you all around.
Hey, my take. My take, where's my shirt? I don't know. Why aren't you wearing it? <laughs> I don't know, but whatever I wear is hotter than heck lately. Oh, I'm hot right now. Here's the cuties. Gingerbread and peppermint tree, folks. And honestly, it came out beautiful, I think. I know you'll agree, hopefully. <laughs> and <laughs> is there? Well, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for their wonderful comments in our comment section. It makes our day. We just love all of you guys. Um, and also, I want to tell you to follow us on Instagram because Jeff keeps forgetting to tell everyone this. But we haven't been so active on Instagram as of late because we've been so busy, but we are, you know, we'll be posting more on there. So that's all I wanted to say. Okay. So, folks, honestly, moving along, we got a lot of decor coming yet, a lot of Christmas. Take care now, and don't forget to check out that wonderful My Take on Home and Garden store. So you can have a long sleeve shirt like this. Yeah. She's already got another order for herself. Yeah. Well, I have thing. to get the travel mug, and the black bag is in, guys. So the black bag wasn't in. Now it's back in. So I'm getting that. <laughs> yeah, one of each. Of course. You know. So <laughs> thanks, guys. Take care. And we'll see you in the next Angela's Over the Top Christmas Decor Video. <laughs> I thought I couldn't keep a straight face before. <laughs>